Hello my beautiful babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel, A Boss Up Budgets. On this channel, I do cash stuffing, budgeting, saving up challenges, and all things money related. And of course, I love myself some pink aesthetics or just holiday aesthetics in general. And we are coming up to Valentine's Day as our next holiday, you guys. So I think my pink definitely goes with the theme already. And then I brought out my cute heart ring for you guys. It's literally hearts all throughout this ring please look down in the description box below because i did link that in there all right so let's just set the mood i realized i didn't put on my candle perfect and y'all i had to pick myself up some bath and body works champagne toast this seriously smells so good so, all right i feel like i haven't chatted with you guys in a while so lots of updating to do i am going to be stuffing week one which is 1320 dollars i'm going to go ahead and start counting we have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine fifty 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Perfect. And I'm sure you guys have noticed my beautiful nails. I've had them for about a week now and I got them kind of like a birthday bash and going into Valentine's Day. So I definitely wanted to do something like extra, but then I also wanted to make sure that I kept in mind Valentine's theme as well because my birthday is at the end of January. You know, that's one way we budget. We find ways to be cost saving and stuff like that my so. boyfriend's younger sister actually paid for these for me it was for my birthday gift and so i would have told you guys how much these cost but i'm gonna say roughly these were at least a hundred dollars maybe 110 these took about two hours to complete it took a while but that's because she had to do individual flowers for each finger i do have a little bit of rollover i have some money in gas but I'm gonna leave that in there actually just because I need to go get gas soon and I just want to roll that over from this week the first one I am gonna stuff is coffee I'm gonna put five dollars in it it's already February and I'm still drinking Starbucks every single day but I'm trying you guys date night is gonna get ten dollars and hopefully I don't use any of this money going out to eat fast food because usually me and my boyfriend do get fast food. Hopefully I don't do that so that I can have a little bit of extra money so that Valentine's is coming up and I get to, you know, treat him out and things like that. We're not going to put anything into dining out, but we are going to put $20 into gas and EV. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I'm sure it's everywhere. I went to Target and I found the Lindor um, heart-shaped chocolate and I bought two of that and I used that to ask my boyfriend out to be my Valentine's. I think I asked him like last week and of course he said yes. I don't know why he would ever say no, but yeah. And then I also got him his Valentine's gift and I'm not gonna say it because I need it to be a surprise and just in case, hey babe, but if he's watching, I don't want him to know what I got for him. So I will update you guys and show you guys pictures and things like that once I have given him the gift. We're gonna skip groceries and go into spending and this is gonna get exactly $5 as well. And that would be it for our weekly allowance that totaled up to $40 this week. We are going to move on to our first binder, which is our pink binder. This is all our monthly expenses and debt binder. So the first one is car insurance and she is getting $35. All of these are emptied out already. Quickly zooming you guys in. Next one is car note. We are going to be putting 50, 70, 90 in her. Jim is going to be getting five, six, seven, eight. And the gym is slowly dying out. I think everyone was really, 
you know, hyped for the New Year's resolution as usual, but it's, it's kind of dying out now. So I'm glad the gym is getting a little bit um, empty. I really, really enjoy working out um, alone and I don't have to wait for the machines opening up. Ortho is going to be getting $55. And then phone is going to be getting $20, $40, and $60. Lastly, subscription is going to be getting $10. Perfect. Now we're moving on to our fixed expenses and our debt. We aren't going to be stuffing car registration this week, but I will be stuffing my car renewal fee because it's coming up. I think my bill is in March. So I will stuff $10 in here. And now it has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 55. And I'm trying to hit 300 in here. We're gonna skip until our debt credit card, which is gonna be getting 100, 200, 220, and 240. All right, and then lastly is our expense repay for our health. This is gonna be getting 20 and a 30. So now it has 100, 200, 220, and 230. So I think this one I'm trying to hit 470. So we are getting close, you guys. And that is it for this binder. Oops, you guys, I made wrong denominators. This doesn't happen usually. But let me go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna leave that there and get 200. I'm gonna do that so that I have some lower denominators to work with because I think I did my calculations a little bit wrong. Next is gonna be our white binder. This is our emergency funds and savings. The first one I'm gonna work on is Bentley Emergency. It's getting 20, 30, 35, 36, 37 get that right. For those of you guys that don't know, Bentley is my Norfolk Terrier dog and he is eight years old, been with me since he was two months old <laughs> and it's been a long ride. So he now has 100, 120, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 185, 86, 87, 88, and 89. And this has literally been just the first month of February and we've already stuffed that much for him. So I'm super happy about that. And then we are gonna skip down to our life insurance. This one is gonna be getting 20, 40, and 50. 100, 200, 300, 320, 340, 360, 370, and 375. We're gonna go down to our investing account. 25 in it. Um, I just accumulate up until 100 and then I deposit it in. But we'll pause and come back to this binder in a second. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I didn't post week three and week four of January. I went to Vegas for my birthday and had such a blast. Well, sort of. I recorded week three and week four, but then by the time I came back unpacked and like got ready for my first week at work and like readjusting, I just didn't have the time to kind of, you know, edit and post those videos. And it's already like February, like first week, and I had to start the next stuffing. I didn't want to, you know, put videos back to back to back because that's kind of like tedious, I feel like. Um, and I love sending out up-to-date videos. The things that happen in those videos aren't really that up to date anymore and I wanted to just give you guys the gist of what's going on in my life right now like real life time as quickly as possible so that's why I decided not to post week three and week four so we're starting fresh I don't want to you know be off track and the schedule be delayed and then about Vegas had such a blast you guys I did what is it I did over budget so I spent about 2,000 I saved about roughly a thousand seven hundred and what I did with that money is I put half of it into um, my birthday envelope for 2024 and then the other half of it I put it into my house fund which was
was taking a hit because I was focusing on that. So that's pretty much what I did with the money. And as far as what I did in Vegas or how it went, um, super fun. I enjoyed Vegas as much as I could. There was 15 people that went it was a mix of guys and girls so it was about 50 50 um it was all my best friends and then their significant other which i've known for a really long time some of them are new some of them are not a 7 out of 10 trip there was drama i was in a center of it not the cause of it but i was kind of like the mediator which i was feeling really anxious about going into the trip that that was what I wanted to stay away from I had told all my best friends you know to you know stay away from the drama and let's just have a good time but unfortunately things unraveled at the trip there was some tears flowing some yelling some just drama basically very very intense drama that definitely ruined the trip for me and ruined the last day that I was there because it all happened Friday night and then on Saturday was our last day there and it was just like all the bad vibes from the night before and I was like up until 7 a.m trying to figure out the BS. I'm not going back to Vegas anytime soon. Um, I decided that maybe in my future birthdays it's not going to be a vacation. It's probably going to be more like an intimate trip or it's going to be vacation in a more like, how do I say it, like a more soothing environment, calming environment, not Vegas because Vegas is like all drinking, all booze, all nightlife, all gambling, like everything is just high and tense that I kind of want a more chill birthday. From now on so anyways that's kind of how vegas went if you guys want me to go into more tea or more details maybe do a story time definitely can do it none of my friends watch my channel so they're not gonna find <laughs> the information that i'm giving you guys so leave a comment down below if you guys want a story time on the drama then we can get into it so anyways let's start off with the black binder this is my sinking funds binder and i'm gonna start off with bet me essentials he is going to be getting $5 and now he has 5, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And we're just stocking back up. I think I want to hit like 200 in here before I go shopping for him. And then we're going to go down to our gifts envelope. All right. So this one is going to be getting 20, 30, and 35. 100, 150, 200, 220, 240, 250, 55, 60, 61, and 63. I was counting way too fast. And then lastly, I will be putting into my tech envelope. We're going to be putting 20, 40, 60. And now it has 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 500, 520, 40, 60, 80, 600. And I'm trying to reach 1,400 before I can get my new camera. So we're working hard towards that. And then lastly, almost forgot, we are gonna be putting $20 into Mi Vida. This is to pay back the Valentine's gift that I got him. So it's 50, 70, 90, and 110. The Valentine's gift was $350. So that is it for my black binder. Lastly, I am gonna go back to this binder. Everything that you see here is gonna go straight into my house envelope. One, two, three, four, five hundred and ten dollars we're slowly working towards our goal and i've readjusted my goal and i want to reach thirty thousand dollars by the end of this year instead of 25 so it's going to be a little bit more intense but we're definitely going to try it so anywhere between 25 to thirty thousand, i am going to be very very pleased that is it you guys thank you guys so much for catching up with me and again leave a comment down below if you guys would like a story time in my next video until then, I will catch you guys next time. Ta-ta for now.